Zakari. It's up to them, it's personal preference. I, 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 this by the way is Bible Hub, some people like Blue Letter Bible. There's also Bible by Jakarta, these are all, all good, useful ones. But uh, you, can, you can get many different translations in these apps, or you could just go online and search it up in the different translations. Yeah, uh, you go to the book of Genesis, the, the, the origin story is the same every, every time. So do you believe in God? Of course. Is he real? Of course. How do you know? How do I know? Prophecy. For who? Prophecy. Prophecy. Like little green men on planet Mars or something like that? No. But if you're talking about extraterrestrial beings that are alive that live outside of Earth, yeah, you call them angels. Okay. Alright, what's that Bible with the uh with the waterfall? Yeah, with the green it's all green. And we got the waterfall. You're talking about like what the cover looks like? No, I, what kind of Bible? What waterfall? You talking about like a picture on the Bible? Yeah, yeah on the on the uh on the cover of the Bible. We got some waterfall. Yeah. And it has green. It could be anything. The King James Bible is public domain, so I could literally go to a publisher and say, I want a King James Bible with a picture of me on the front of it, and they'll print it out for me. So you could put whatever cover on the Bible you want. So I don't know which one it was to see. Wait, there's three different beginnings. You gotta show me that, bro. Look it up on your phone. I'm telling you, I have in many different translations. I'm asking you which translation it was. You saw a different story. These, these are the Bibles I, I, I read in jail. Bible you read in jail was probably came in. Or, 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 uh, uh, they got GNTs in there too. Not arrested, uh, not arrested, rescue. Uh, it's uh, I something something. Just, just let me ask you something. Like a solid no? I believe in aliens. You believe in aliens? Okay, what about aliens? They real. I'm an alien. You're an alien? We are aliens. Where is you from? I'm from here. But how are you an alien? Yeah. Alien yeah. means yeah. alien means to be formed. Like alien well, means to be formed. Uh, you said how do we just get up and start walking? Yeah. Do your mind just tell you to get up and start walking? We didn't just get up and start walking. We had to learn how to walk. But how though? How? By, by practice. Which was, See, that don't make sense. It's, uh, of course it do. This is Genesis 1 and 1. That's like saying, how do you, uh, yeah, it's all the same. It's all the same. Yeah. That's like saying, how do you learn how to shoot a basketball? You see somebody do it and you try to imitate it until you get it right. Oh, That's different. Bodies. different. Oh, it's not. It's just like walking. No, it's not. It's like riding a bike. Uh, how come you can learn uh, how to ride a bike but you can't forget? I've seen it in my own eyes, so... But a bike, that's a bike. That's what I'm saying. Does it say in the beginning? Where y'all come from? Where y'all from? Like King James, in the beginning. I was born in the United States of America. There was God. He was a light. No, I'm not from Phoenix. Catholic Bible. Boston? Boston, Texas. It stated in the beginning. It was it was Trinity. Something like Trinity. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Do you believe in Jesus? Yeah. Do you believe he died and rose again? Yes. We all, we, all, all of us up here believe the same. Do you believe in Jesus? Yeah. So you believe in Jesus but not God? Yeah. I mean, what's the difference? The difference is, the difference between you and your children. I have children. The difference is the difference between me and my children. My children are not me. But okay. they needed me to get you. Right. Just like I needed my parents. Jesus Christ is not the most high God. He's the son of God. He was the, the initial creation, the first thing created. So, but so, aliens are not real. 
like I said, it depends on what you mean by aliens. In, in, in the broadest sense of the term, yeah. yeah. What kind of aliens do you believe in? I don't know what kind of aliens there are. Okay. But you believe in them. Okay. okay. Well, what do you know about these aliens you believe in? They walk in They walk in dead. They walk in dead. Okay. Does that benefit you at all? Yeah. Ah. How, how, uh, what's your nationality? African American. African American, okay. How did African Americans get to the United States of America? Okay. Okay. okay, so you never learned about the transatlantic slave trade or anything like that? Okay, so the transatlantic slave trade, or sometimes called the triangular trade, was the greatest crime perpetrated on planet Earth, all right? Where Different European nations got together and decided that they were going to enslave blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to take over the Americas. So you had the British, the French, the Spaniards. Those were the main Can you three. open a page for me in the Bible? Yeah, sure. So I can start believing yeah. in Jesus more. I want to go to church, but I, I ain't found no church. I thought so, y'all actually had a church made the way y'all church is made. This, this is the church. Church is a body of people, not a building. You know what I'm saying? Well, hold, hold what you got real quick, because we're going to bring out a Bible verse that's about what I was just telling you. Okay. So, they came to the west coast of Africa, gathered our people up, brought us over here. The people that were already over here, they enslaved them too. They enslaved us, they enslaved the natives, and uh, what you know is the Hispanic. Right? And that was in the Bible. Said to happen, All right, that's prophecy. Alright, so hold on. Alright. Good talk to you, bro. Alright, man, come back and... God bless you too, brother. Come back and see us, man. I'll be right here tomorrow. Uh, no, tomorrow we're going to be on uh, 19th and Dunlap in Phoenix. When y'all be here? Next Friday. All right, I'll be here. All right. So they gathered us up. They took us on, on cargo slave ships. You heard about slave ships, right? Okay. So at no point in time in history has any other people been brought into a mass slavery by way of ship, except for us. It's the only time it ever happened. And here in the Bible, thousands of years before it happened, said it was going to happen. Read. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Do you know what Egypt means? Nobody means. Egypt means bondage. Bondage? What does bondage mean? Bondage is like slavery. So he's going to bring us into slavery again, but this time with ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies bond men and bond women. So he said we wasn't going to see the, the original Egypt no more, meaning the slavery wasn't going to be where we was enslaved before. We we're going to go into a new Egypt by way of ships, and we would be sold to our enemies. Wouldn't you say that we as black, Spanish, Native Americans have been Definitely. sold to our enemies? Right, because the white man's our enemy, right? Absolutely. And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you. The word, the Hebrew word. So what word, do you mean by no man shall buy you as a prostitution? No, no, not as a prostitution. The word buy there, when you read it in the original language, is Hebrew. It's not the Hebrew word for purchase. It's the Hebrew word for redeem. Right? So let's say I did something wrong to you, and this is a long time ago, right? I did something wrong to you. Maybe I, I killed one of your cattle. That's an expensive loss for you. I owe you now. So I say, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna work for you until I pay off that cow. So that way I can make it right. My brother can come up and be like, you know what? Here's the money, I'm gonna redeem him so he doesn't have to work for you. Here's the money you can go make yourself like that. So what this is saying is we was gonna be brought into slavery on ships, sold to our enemies, and nobody was gonna come get us out of it. That's what we're Nobody was gonna there's gonna be no redemption. And that's why we still here to this day. That's why you was from Phoenix, Arizona. That's why I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. That's why he was from Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're still in the land of our captivity. Go ahead. Book of Isaiah chapter 43 and 11 I even I am the Lord And beside me there is no Savior That's right The only Savior that we have is the Lord himself So What's no another good one to read? Can I read it out loud? Isaiah 43 and 11 Isaiah 43 and 11 Isaiah 43 and 11 Whatever verse that's preferring to y'all. I mean, really, the whole, the whole, the whole Bible contains that. And you, okay? Because you're an Israelite, but the tribe of Judah, more than likely. That's the same tribe that Jesus Christ came from. No, open it back up to me. Oh, I'm sorry. I just want to read like a little.
that's what I was thinking. Oh, the same oh. words. Yet now here, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen, thus take the Lord that made me and poor me from the womb, which will help thee fear not, O Jacob. by the name of Israel. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. Shalom. And who, Shalom. as I shall call, and shall declare it, and set it in order for me, since I appointed the ancient people, and the things that are coming, and shall come, let them show unto them. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told them that time and have declared it. Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God besides you? Yeah, there is. No God. I know, not me. So do you, do you, do you understand what it is that you're reading? No. You know, why, are you, well, why are you reading so fast? We can, we can explain it. order for me. It says, I appointed the ancient people and the things that are coming and shall come. Let them shoot and not see them. He's talking about the things that are going to happen with chosen people. Neither be afraid, have not I told thee from that time, and have declared it. Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yeah, there is no God. I know not even. There's no other God but Yahweh. Okay, what about John 3.16? John 3.16. The famous John 3.16. What about it? I'm going to read it. You want to read it? I'll, I'll, I'll. Okay, you read it because I like your book. Uh, book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world Amen. that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him. Amen. Should not, not perish, perish but, have but have everlasting, everlasting life. life. See, so oh, you, see, you know, you know something about it. Life. All right. Amen. So what does that mean? Should have you learned eternal life everyone? Who? John three sixteen. No, but who's gonna have everlasting life? For God's love the world. The world. Who's the world? Us. Who's us? You all human beings. Yes. Why? Why human beings? Because we people. Why not? Why not cats? Why not cats and dogs and fish? But they're but they're part of the world. They're in the world. They're in the world. Yeah, see, see. They're not important. They're not important. They can go out and get the, a job. The, 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 the Bible, where, where the Bible say go out and get a job? We have to. How are you going to survive? Where the, where the Bible say go out and get a job? How are you going to survive, though, sir? It said tell the earth. The earth the earth provides. How are you going to survive? The earth the earth provides. Unless you try to go don't, don't, you know why we have to go out and get a job? Why? It's because the white man has us in captivity and he forces us to work because he took oh, away the resources. For free. I mean, it's like we're working for nothing. We are working for nothing. We are working for nothing because when we were in slavery, but so how do you when, when, a job? when we was in hardcore slavery, right? We worked without pay. What they gave us a place to live, they fed us food, it wasn't good. But they gave us the things that we needed to, to keep no, up. They gave us the, thing that we, the things that we needed to stay alive. Now, they let us off the plantation, and they say, okay, work for some money. Cool, we getting money now. But we only get a little bit of money, and we have a whole lot of rent, and we have a whole lot of electric bills, and we have a whole lot of food costs. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we working for negative. We always own. So either way you look at it, either way you look at it, it's still a slavery. But God so loved the world is about God loving you, about God loving the Israelites. Not everybody on earth, not all human beings. Okay. So let me, let me show you. Go, go ahead, get that. It's Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Israel shall be saved in the Lord, read. With the everlasting salvation, he shall not be ashamed, nor confounded in the world without 
without end. So Israel is that world without end. Yeah. So you as an Israelite, you have the opportunity to have everlasting life. Not not the white guy that you want, but God doesn't love that. As a matter of fact, God hates it. But he loves you. Isn't that good news? That's the gospel. That's the this was this is what is known as the apocrypha. When the King James Bible was first compiled, it was 80 books. Then you have what was known as the Council of the Bible Destruction Group, where they decided they were going to take 14 books out of the Bible. If you want to go get those 14 books, you can buy them compiled as what's known as the apocrypha. You can also buy an original 1611 King James Bible that, that has it all together. You go to any, so any the the You did. You went. So what do you gotta do with the video? Put them online. Right here. YouTube, Facebook, whatever social media, share it on. When this one go on? This one? Have anybody Yes, other people have talked to us about it. Maybe not as much as you They weren't as nice as you were. But uh, when this one going up, or going really soon, the next couple of days. Gotta, you know, get the footage uploaded. Put it up. Make it look presentable. You got a preset? Yeah, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 20. For where uh, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, Amen. there I am in the midst of them. That's right. Amen. That's right. And it also says that he does not dwell in temples made with hands. So y'all my brother. That's right. You are true. That's right. Hey, that, that so we fly. help one another out, right? For sure. Right. That flyer that you got, there's a phone number on that flyer. That's I my cell phone. Say what? That's your cell phone. That's my cell phone. All right, I'll be giving you a call. All right, please do. What's your name? Star. Star. It's a nice name. Oh, y'all gonna be out here We gonna be on Dumb Lab in 19. That's another whole thing. So now, now that you know, we teach, we teach them, our people are Israelites, right? So now that you know that you guys tell the people, you know that there's something that's required. There's a part of the most high God. How do you know those things that we got? Okay, well, hey, that's beautiful. That's beautiful because it says seek, seek, seek me while, uh, seek, to seek me near you. You got that in Deuteronomy? All right. All right the right, book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, well, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways? And, no, no, no. We, we don't, we don't Why? do the cross. We don't do the cross. Why? So I'm because because it's, a pagan, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pagan sin. It's a pagan sin. Where, where did the Israelites ever what use does a cross? That mean? It's a symbol that was used by heathens to venerate their gods, not our gods. So y'all believe in a different god. Oh. We believe in the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible doesn't tell you to wear a cross or draw a cross on yourself. So what about baptize? What about? Hmm? We baptize you right now. Hmm. It's the washing of water by the word. We bring the word out to you. You can get dipped in the water if you want to, but that doesn't change your life. That doesn't make you clean. It's symbolic. What makes you actually clean is the word of the Bible. When you, when you uh, put that to, to practice. Okay. See, we, we I done grew up in the Christian church and seen all kinds of uh, drug dealers and whores and all kinds of people what is, dipped what in the water. Whore? A whore is a sexually promiscuous woman. Sexually. A sexually promiscuous woman, usually one that does so for money, but not all. Yeah, absolutely. But I've seen all these different people that had all these different sins that they continually did, get dipped in the water, they come up and they feel good, they leave church and they go right back to doing what they was doing. But had they been baptized in the word, then they would have heard, there shall be no whore of the daughter of Israel. They would have heard there shall be no sorcerers in Israel. They would have heard that thou shalt not murder, that thou shalt not commit adultery, that thou shalt, you know, play with mankind as a woman and all these other things. So that would actually make them change their life, which actually cleanses them. There's nothing wrong with being different in the water. But the real baptism comes from the water. That's stated in the word. Look at that. So can I have some fire in the fire Absolutely. Absolutely. Mark, you got any more of those? I got another piece of it. Right, this is this is First Peter, one twenty-three. Okay, I want to get the number. Bring it out loud. It's 
1 Peter 1 and 23, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Well, by the word of God. That's how we do it. So real quick, let's get that in Deuteronomy about what's required. Let's look at Deuteronomy chapter 10, yes. verse 12. Sir, so and now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Correct. So we have to do everything God told us to do. We have to do everything God told us to do. Everything. And if we don't do what he did, then what's going to happen? We die. Exactly. And when we die, where do we go? Where our bodies go when we die? They go our body going to what they do. Body going on. And what what do we do? Do it right? Do it right. Do it it, right. It's, it's it's food for the worms. And, and, and the worms eat the damn body up. That's right. See? Yeah. And I don't want to be worm food. I don't want you to be worm food. I don't. Either. So what? So what? So what happens when they burn the body? They burn the body, then it's just burnt up. So what's the difference? I mean, nothing. The spirit's still not in it. Either way, it's an empty shell at that point. Okay. But the, when you when you put the dead body under, how long do it take the worms to eat the body? I guess it depends on the soil you put it in. I don't know. So you gotta put dip the body in soil? You no, know I'm saying when you put the body when you put the, the body in the earth, depends on how many worms is there, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. No, I never watched the bodies get eaten by worms before. You have a funeral. Right. And then the dead body, it's all dead, it's not alive, and the body. Right. The worms eat the body, right? Yeah, it eventually. Goes when the when the casket closed, when it goes, when they burn burn. It probably take longer that way because the caskets are laminated and thick wood and all that stuff. They gotta get the water. Eventually that wood's gonna break down. The worms gonna get through. Like our page on Facebook too. Huh? Like our page on Facebook. Oh well, what's it called? Sakari Phoenix. It's on this? Uh, no, it's not on that. Well, it's Sakari spelled just like that. Just put you Phoenix after. Okay. You got a pen? Uh, Hearing from you, Star. Thank you. Are you welcome?